My fellow Americans, I don't give a fuck who you voted for. I don't care. I don't fucking care. <sighs> I have a hard, no politics conversation policy in my home. Here's the reasons why. One, what if two people don't agree? Well, fuck you. I disagree with your you, views, you fascist. You are so wrong, Mike. You're the fascist. Who are you calling a fascist? Fuck you! Fuck you! See? It's just a fucking argument. There's no discussion had. There's no, like, oh, maybe you have a point there. Oh, maybe you have a point there. Let's listen to each other. No, it's just fucking screaming at each other. So it brings me to number two. When two people agree. Oh my god, you are so right! I know I'm right! Fuck, you are so right! Yeah, fuck you! You fucking fascist! You're a fucking fascist! I know, you're a fascist too! You correct fucking fascist! And they're still arguing! It's incredible! They agree on everything, and yet they want to yell at each other! What the fuck kind of thought process is that? Which brings me to number three, and hands down, the worst situation. If they mostly agree, but disagree on a small issue. So, no, it's uh, pizza with pepperoni and sausage. That is the best. I hear what you're saying, but sausage and pepperoni is far superior. No, pepperoni and sausage. Sausage and pepperoni. You okay. are a fascist, sir. I'm a fascist. Fuck you, you fascist. You're a f See? Even though they agree, the fact that they're a little off thinks that each person can convince the other person that they're wrong and will change their mind, so they yell at each other. What? Anyway, I'm recording this before the election comes out. Whoever won, won. Whatever. Hopefully it'll be over after this, but probably the next month or six will go like this. My candidate didn't win. Fuck you. Well, my candidate did win. Fuck you. Fascist. Fascist. Yeah, so my recommendation to you would just be like, I don't know, delete all of your social media. This country's retarded.